crafty friends it's jess from JessCrafts.com, and today i'm here with a card for the cat scrappiness store i am featuring the punny snacks stamp set as well as the brand new die set called stitched flags i decided to die cut a bunch of the flags out of some high quality cardstock from my stash. I don't know who quite makes it, but I picked a blue color and a purple color that I felt like went well together and die cut a bunch of the banners. I have seen some amazing cards featuring this die set from the design team. So I highly encourage you to check it out and check out what some of the other design team members have made because they're really cute cards cut from pattern paper as well as colored cardstock and these are also great for sentiments and I've already made another card featuring it for sentiments but basically I just had scraps of these blues and purples so I just kind of die cut whatever I could fit and whatever I could use to kind of get rid of that cardstock and use it up so it left me with a variety of the flag sizes from the set then I drew a pencil line across the top of my card. In retrospect, I actually wish I would have left w less white space at the top, and I do fix that later by rescoring my card and actually making it fold a little bit closer to where my banners are. But for now, all I'm doing is arranging them in a way that I like, but I'm not sticking anything down yet. I wasn't even sure if I'd have quite enough banners at this point or flags to cover all the way across the card but like I said I was using up scraps so I kind of was a bit limited and I'm also generally trying to go in a pattern of the blue then the purple blue then purple but I'm changing up whether or not they are overlapping each other so sometimes so instead of you know them all being like the next one goes on top of the previous one sometimes I'm letting two of them go behind the middle one or something like that and that's just to add interest and not make it look so flat. Then once I have it the way I like it, I'm going to take a picture of it with my phone so that way I remember what it looks like when I add the adhesive. So I spared you me re-adding it all with some tape on it, but the card is to the top left there. Then I was ready to color my image. This is an image from the Punny Snacks set and I'm also going to be using a sentiment from it. This is a Cat Scrappiness exclusive stamp set. I really like it because I love punny things but also because the sentiments work well for a variety of cards so I'm going to use the Your Too Sweet sentiment which will be great for a thank you card but could be used for other things. I tried to find some Copics in my collection that paired well with the card stock that I used so I'm using V25 22 and 20 for the top of the probably frozen yogurt since it's purple rather than um, ice cream although of course ice cream and frozen yogurt both come in all kinds of colors to give some shadows to the ice cream I just want it to look a little bit dimensional so I want the highlight to be down the center but there's also some like folds in the ice cream and so for those I want it to also have a little bit of shadowing. So that's another place you could add that in. Then I have B00, B000, and B quadruple zero to make the blue for the bottom. However, once it was finished coloring, I realized there's actually a hint of green in the cardstock that I use and it, the blue wasn't quite matching up so I go back and fix that a little bit later once I realize it's kind of driving me nuts a little bit like I really wish it would match better and I knew that I could find something in my collection that would match. I'm going to use VersaFine ink to stamp my sentiment. VersaFine ink gives a pretty good impression consistently the first time especially on stamps that have been used before so I felt pretty confident stamping right onto my card base with it and I knew if I made a small mistake, I would be able to fill it in with a black pen, like the memento marker that you see off to the side there. So in order to fix it, I did come in with a little bit of BG10, and that made it just that little hint of green and matched the paper a little bit better. 
I fussy cut it out with my scissors and then I'm taking this memento black pen and tracing the edges just to make them look a little bit cleaner. I'll add a bit of adhesive there and put it to the left of my sentiment and that's basically going to be it for this card. Except for, like I said, at this point, I just felt like I had left too much white space at the top, especially considering that my ice cream looks a little squished down there at the bottom. If I could sh magically just shift everything up, I would be so much happier. But that's not going to happen. So I tried to figure out a way that I could accommodate. And so I'm going to rescore my card base so that there's a little bit less white space at the top. I think I took away about half an inch or maybe only a quarter of an inch. Then, um, of course, I would suggest just kind of measuring things out a little bit better ahead of time if you were to recreate a similar card. But then I can just chop off that extra piece there at the bottom and my card is finished for today. If you like this card, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will leave you links in the video description to the products that I use and I will also leave you a coupon code for Cat Scrappiness. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.